yet again for James London. His new uniform arrived this morning, Mr. Compton. That'll be why it's late. He'll be trying it on. That boy is always trying it on. <laughs> but he'll find he's met his match with me. I shall count to three. One, two, three. What do you reckon it, eh? What's the matter with you lot, eh? This is me new show this uniform. Can I look at business? Not too sure about that. <laughs> Come on, you, you're winding me up. If you'd been wound up, you'd work. That's brilliant, eh? That's what you say. Hello, uh, Mr. Compton. Didn't see you hiding in the corner. Don't you be smart with me, laddie. Silence in the ranks. <laughs> if you don't belt up, it'll be window cleaning detail for the rest of the week. Sorry, Mr. Compton. Very sorry, honest. You will be, laddie. And you will be polishing the bars for a month if you don't stop sniggering, my girl. Yeah, you tell them, Henry. I think mean, they got a cheek laughing at my new uniform. They got no style. That's their problem, then. Just shut up and get into line. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Or in your case. What? <laughs> I want to stick a ferret up the nose, chase the hairs out your head. Do you want to be back in the queue at the post office oh. on a Thursday, cashing your gyro? All right, Mr. Compton. Now, let's get one thing straight. Oh. <laughs> you deny me, did you? Indeed, I did not. Then you can't fire me, can you? Stand to the governor. We'll see about that, Sonny Jim. Do you all know something? I am not a happy man. And I don't want any wisecracks from you, London. Since the new addition to our ranks, we have become undisciplined. We have become unruly. In short, we have become a rabble. And that, members of the jury, is my learning. <laughs> Things are going to change. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Mr. Compton. Good. Let's get on with it. Connie, bathrooms and toilets. I want to see my face in them. Don't we all? <laughs> It's time to get the one in the hall, Mr. Compton. Paula, it's Mr. Palmer and Miss Sarah for lunch. Now then, do the windows need cleaning again, I wonder? He only did it the day before yesterday, Mr. Compton. I am aware of that, Paula. All right, I'll let it go this time. Clean up the patio. Oh, thanks, Mr. Compton. Right, let's hop to it, everybody. And hey, let's take it easy out there. <laughs> You, be standing outside the lounge in five minutes' time. The master would like a little chat. Then after, that is to say, if there is an after, Miss Sarah wants to go shopping. Get that, thank you, Paula. The pam is ready, then. Look, look, I mean, what's the governor want to chat to me about, Mr. Compton? Do you know? Of course I know. Oh, come and tell us. Mark me cold. You'll find out all in good time. Captain Hawksworth, Mr. Compton. He's insisting on speaking to Miss Sarah. Captain who? Never you mind. Be in the lounge in three minutes. I'll talk to him, Paula. Switch the call through to my office. Captain Hawksworth. The things I have to do to keep the peace. Thank you, Mother Teresa. Hmm? I'm just putting you through, Captain Hawksworth. <laughs> He's a nasty piece of work, that one. <coughs> oh, Henry ain't that bad. No, not Henry, Captain Hawks. Terry, patio. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now, she's a nun. <laughs> he's right, you know. Who's this Captain Hawksworth when he's at home then? Well, he's Miss Sarah's ex. Well, at least he doesn't think he is, but he is. Miss Sarah's found a new love, and Captain Hawksworth turned a bit nasty. She's a lovely girl. She's a six-foot-three marine commando oh, with a very short fuse. <laughs> you know, I've heard that about big fellas. He's just come back from six months of jungle training. <laughs> Blimey, stuck up a palm tree for six months. <laughs> no wonder his fuse is ready to blow. London? Henry? Now then, wait here until you're called, London. I am called London. <laughs> now, what's this all about, Mr. Conklin? Here, your dad's name wasn't Dennis, was it? I... <laughs> I give Mr. Palmer a staff report every week, you know. This week, your name came up several times. And now you're hoping my numbers come up. Stay here. <laughs> and don't touch the silver, right? Don't touch anything. 
why don't you... Is that the time already? <laughs> Genuinely interested in Alcock? <laughs> or is it just voyeurism? Well, I reckon I must be interested because I don't know what that other word means. A voyeur is someone who gets gratification from just looking. Yeah? <laughs> well, I was on the wind-up. Wind-up? Yeah, it's winding up. Gee up, you know, I was having a joke with you. I know what a voyeur is. No one had net curtains down the street I used to live. <laughs> Darling. Would you please stop calling me darling? I am not your darling. Well, what do you want me to call you? Well, could see if you could manage Miss Palmer. Best opera I've had all day, love. <laughs> you really are quite insolent, aren't you? Grab me moments. No, I don't mean the big... Look, where I live, all the birds... Sorry. All the ladies are called darling. It's a term of endearment. Darling. All cocks probably whispering that to her right now. <laughs> all right, then, lad. Uh, oh, uh, good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning, Henry. Shall we settle on Miss Sarah, then? Miss Sarah is it, darling. <laughs> In! To the valley of death rode the gallant 600. I'm going to come around the bend now, and there's Rowan running the late night. And they're coming around the first bend. <laughs> it's no good, Miss Sarah. No good at all. He'll have to go. He's nothing but a yobber. Hmm. He's certainly different. Hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, Captain Hawksworth phoned again, Miss Sarah. Oh, I wish you'd go back to the jungle. I, I uh, took it upon myself to tell a little white lie on your behalf. I said you were away and wouldn't be back for a week or two. I hope I did right. Yes, thank you, Henry. Sit down, Jim. Now, according to Henry, you're insolent, slovenly, and a disruptive influence on all the other members of the staff. Oh, I speak highly of him and all. <laughs> he also says you're getting a little too familiar with both Connie and Paula. Oh, I ain't. That's a lot of cobblers, that is. Familiar. I'm just friendly. It's nice to be friendly. That Connie asked me to marry her. And she don't even know my shoe size. <laughs> Connie doesn't want to go back to the Philippines. And I don't want to go back to the elephant and castle. I told her no. Marry her? I don't even ask for a bit on approval. <laughs> well, I've done nothing wrong, Governor. Straight up, the geezer don't like me, that's all. <laughs> oh, don't be too hard on Henry's son. Me? Hard on him? Well, look, in spite of what you might think, he's not the sort of animal to actually dislike anyone. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. A Maradona has just signed for Port Vale. <laughs> He'll be on the all your life. Take a day off. Look, first off, I'm taking this thing with a pinch of salt. I'm not exactly a mug, you know. I can read between the lines. I know all about Henry and his funny little ways. Governor, he, he feels threatened by you, that's all. <laughs> threatened by me? I would have thought a shrewd young fellow like yourself would have sussed that out long ago. You're young, you're smart, you're quick on the uptake. You worry him. But you don't worry me. I know you and Henry are sorted out. So I've still got my job, then? Any reason why you shouldn't have? No. I've got a lot to learn, haven't I? Right, two things. First, use your loaf with Henry. But, I mean, don't wind him up. Don't give him too much verbal. He's one of the old school. Ah, he's all right, I suppose, isn't he? Old git. <laughs> and second, you like to show off your prowess with the birds. Well, not in this gap, you don't. Oh, come on, Governor. That thought never crossed me mind. <laughs> dip dog dip. The females in this house are strictly out of bounds, especially my daughter, Sarah. Oh, come on, boss. I wouldn't dream of it. Just marking your card, son. You're taking Sarah shopping this afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> so watch your P's and Q's. And don't go giving all the other road users an earful of vocabulary. I don't want you getting into any rucks. Not with my Sarah sat in the back. Oh, don't worry about that thing there. If I'll be as discreet as a monk in a nunnery after lights out. <laughs> <laughs> Bad back again, Henry. <laughs> no, sir. I, I was... I, I, I was... Oil in the hinges, Henry. Teddy, come on, you've had long enough for lunch. Uh, come in. I'll go and sit at the dining room. This tea's not sweet. Put some sugar in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a tilt. Hey, Connie, get some washing up liquid. Can I have run out down there? Washing up liquid only if you marry me. Next month. I can't marry you next month. I'm having my hair done. Every day? Yeah, yeah, every day. 
I'm growing it for Elton John. <laughs> You're a bad boy. In that cabinet. In that cabinet. Beautiful, eh, too? Of course, so why have you got a face like a smack bum? <laughs> Come on, mate, can't be that bad. Yeah. It was funny what you did to Mr. Compton this morning. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I do? God, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't. <laughs> Good to have a laugh, isn't it? Yeah, you always make me laugh, you do. <laughs> you make Connor and Connie laugh as well. Yeah, do I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We was only saying the other day. <laughs> He's only saying what the other day? I forget. Oh, it don't matter. I'm always forgetting things I am. Can't remember why. You know what, you're lucky. I wish I could forget things most of the time. Yeah? You're not half, mate. Like what, Jim? I forget. <laughs> no, no. Look, I'm telling you the truth. I have wished I'd forgotten to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> why, Jim? What's that, Del? I forget. <laughs> God, you don't half make me laugh. You know? <laughs> At least you cheered up. What was you looking so down in the mouth about? I forget. <laughs> Come on, you better get off your bum and go back to work, otherwise he's going to throw a wobbler. Yeah. I was doing that patio. I nearly forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was, uh, I was going to bring the motor around the front. That was nice. Well, oh, all part of the service, madam. No, I mean the way you cheered Terry up. Oh, Terry, yeah. Uh, how long has he been working here? Ever since he left school. Dad knew the family. Said he'd see what he could do for Terry. <laughs> You're a right good bloke, your dad, you know, a diamond. I'm glad you think so, too. Mm. I can't work out what was the matter with Terry all day. I think it's because Henry's given him a new job. Window cleaning, and he hates it. I might have known how Henry had something to do with it. No, see, Henry gives Terry something new to do every month or so. I mean, it seems harsh at times, but Terry gets better and better at it, thanks to Henry's perseverance. Me and my big mouth, eh? You'll soon find out that Henry's bark is worse than his bite. I suppose it... London! <laughs> Someone's let the dog out. I'll just get my coat and bag. For Sarah! Henry! Shan't be long, James. All right, darling. <laughs> Darling. Yes, sweetness? <laughs> now listen to me. Don't you get lippy with me, laddie. It's Miss Palmer, not bloody darling. Fair enough, Mr. Compton. What do you mean, fair enough, Mr. Compton? I mean, fair enough, Mr. Compton. <laughs> Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah, I forgot to say, Captain Hawksworth called again. You hung up on him, I trust? Not before he said he knew you were in town and that he intended to see you come hell or high water. Oh, hell. Oh, I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> What was that for me? Don't worry, Henry. You'll be safe in my hands. You keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> You got it all wrong, Henry. Look, when I have a young lady in the back of my Rolls Royce, I always act the perfect gentleman. I offer her a cigarette afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, sorry, Miss Sarah. Somehow, Miss Sarah doesn't sound right coming from your lips. Don't worry, I'll work on it. I'm not that worried about it. it won't be long. Is that Miss Sarah Palmer I saw going towards the market? 
Maybe. Who wants to know? Just answer the question, driver. Here, do yourself a favour, pal. Yours is not to reason why. Got it? All right, cocker. Keep your flaming air on. <laughs> Must be a pack on, mate. Listen, <laughs> cocker, if that's the word. If you want a disabled sticker in the back of this car, just carry on the way you're going. Well, who the... Uh, the lunatic captain? Hawksworth. He's half inch something. Here, go and tell your mate to get it. Honest, straight up, honest. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Listen, I didn't like what you've done to me out in that car park. Is that right? That's right, pal. Hey, so you just watch it, otherwise you'll end up with a chalk mark around you. I'll all right? crush you like a grape. Yeah, so, look, see, eh? I'll show you, mate. Marital arts, pal. Marital. I believe the word you're looking for is Marshall. Yes, I think you're probably right. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of my way. Is this him? Have a look in his pocket. He's a tea leaf. Here's your tea leaf, pal. What do you mean? Come on. Empty your pocket. Get out of my way. Come on. What's the time, then? Steering coat. Hello, Henry. Miss Sarah. Leave everything in the hall. I'll sort it out later. Very good, Miss Sarah. Sarah, darling. Oh, you've had a good day. It's been absolutely smashing, hasn't it, Jane? Staggering. Oh, <laughs> right, Henry? Oh, indeed, sir. Sarah, there's a visitor waiting for you in the lounge. But Tony's not due for another half an hour. It's not your new boyfriend, Tony. It's Captain Hawksworth. Brogdon? Oh, no. It's all right. <laughs> I've been having quite a chat with him. He's been posted overseas for two years. He just wants to say his goodbyes, that's all. He's not angry with me, you sure, Daddy? Well... I don't think it was anything to do with you, but he did seem a bit uncomfortable when he first came in and sat down. <laughs> Henry? Sir, help James with those parcels. Sir, <clears throat> come on, let's go see the captain. Where are you going? Call him later, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you running away from? Oh. <laughs> I went for that Captain Hawksworth to go, and I? Well, I just saw him come in the front door like a whirlwind. I thought he was going to do somebody some damage. What? Someone must have wound him up or something. Somebody must have. Oh. <laughs> Don't stand there, London. Where's Miss Sarah's present for her part? Uh, it's in a box in there. They're all in boxes. Go and find it and take it into her. What, in the lounge? Go on. No, I can't go in there. Why not? He's in there. Who's in there? Look, look. I'm a, you got the tray, you go in there. I'm fetching more ice. Find the prison to take it in. I, I don't think it'd be a very good idea, Henry. I don't care whether you think it's a very good idea or not. Get in there. Are you disobeying an order? Uh, 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 uh. What's the matter with you? Uh, well, look, I, I'm not the type of person to go in there, am I? I get all nervous. I, 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 get, I bang my leg and everything. That's true. Ah, Paula. Ah, oh, son. I've seen it all happen before. Seen what happened before? <laughs> You've lost your bottle, haven't you? <laughs> Working in the big house has proved to be a bit too much, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, Paula, uh, this is something I can relate to. Here's a boy, one day he's driving a delivery van, the next he's whisked up to Chelsea, dressed up to the nines, and he's chauffeuring a big white rose. And what happens? He's lost. In a moment, all this that seemed like a wonderful dream becomes a nightmare. And do you know when he's cheeky to me? 
Do you know what that is, Paula? It's a call for help. <laughs> Are you sure? Luckily for you, James Bowen, <laughs> man management is one of my strong points. <laughs> All I said was I didn't want to go in the lounge. <laughs> and what do we do when we fall off our bicycle? We throw it in the hedge. <laughs> we get back on it. Get in there, man. I can't go in there. Come on, man. Oh, look, if I go in there, Hawksworth's in there and there'll be ructions. He's probably gone by now. But I kicked him in the... <laughs> oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, Brogdon. All the best for your new posting. Yes, good luck, Watson. Yes, thank you, sir. Sorry I can't stay a little longer. You're not him. <laughs> Goodbye, Sarah. Mr. Palmer. <laughs> you all right, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm all right now, aren't I? Oh, it's for you, are we? Oh, I hope you like it, Daddy. <laughs> I'm sure I will, darling. That'll be Master Tony, I expect, Miss Sarah. Relax, Henry. I'll get it. This <laughs> is. I hope you've got that disabled sticker. 